Hello everybody, I'm Steve and welcome to Green Tide Up the Home Edition again. Yes, in the greenhouse once again, sowing more seeds, <laughs> just for a change. Now, being the best bloke in the world, and as my partner can't really get out as much, she, she's disabled, um, and even in the summer it's a struggle for her to get out into the garden to see the flowers. So naturally, as I've got an allotment, I like to grow flowers, fetch them home for her, uh, and then she can be surrounded by loveliness so that's what we're going to get on with today i've already got some sweet peas on the go and i've got a few i've got things like dahlias and stuff like that down the allotments um first of all i'm going to pop these on these are ami and i think this version is ami majus now if you've ever seen like a carrot flower or uh, what's that other one they get in the hedgerows and um, cow parsley that's what that similar is like and I use this uh, or we use this as part of the flower arrangements we put a good amount of it around in the vase and then you can just poke the flowers into it to make a nice arrangement so we'll get on and we'll get these uh, potted on right so let's see how these uh, how these transplant I'm just going to get my label underneath it and pull a clump out. There we go. Already dipped some holes in this little thing. i do my usual. Just hold them in my hand, finger and thumb over them. Just shake the compost off. And you are left, roughly, with the roots and the plants to gently tear it apart. Straight in the hole with them. This is why... And I keep banging on about it, and I will do for the next 10 years, I promise. This is why I always sieve my compost. It makes jobs like this so much easier. The whole thing, I mean, you can see, there's probably 20 plants there. And uh, I have another set there. But for that sort of smaller space... And for the ease of taking these apart and potting them on, it really can't be rivalled. Yeah, you can sow individual seeds into these, into this tray that I'm potting these plants into now and save all the messing around. But it's the space that you use. I prefer to save the space and make life just that little bit easier for myself. So these will all grow. And although there looks like there's a lot there, and there is, I will try and pot on it and grow as many as I can because, as I say, we use quite a bit of it. It's fairly normal if I'm bringing a bucket of flowers up from the allotments for me to use maybe 10 stalks or one of these of flowers off Ami to go in the vase just to start it off and it's just a background foliage you can see these are doing really well in there so these should take off now they've got their own little trays so very quickly there 12 plants potted on so i've got those two small trays at the back out of that little tray still got most of that second tray there which i'll pot on down the allotments and then all of this tray so 75 plants plus what's left in there okay now that i've potted those ami on i've got 70 odd plants from that is good there's a few other flowers to pot on but i'll leave them for another day uh, i want to get on with sowing some more seeds and i'm going to use these trays here these are the ones from container wise that uh, charles dowding developed uh, with them in conjunction with them the nice holes at the bottom so you can get your finger in and get the plants out so yeah when i saw these straight away i thought they're brilliant they're just what i need for my flowers so we've got about six trays there uh, and i'm going to be filling them all pretty much uh, in the next day next day or two i'm certainly going to do a couple of trays now now i'm near enough out to propagate a bench space in here as well um what with everything else I'm sowing and storing my crimson crushed tomatoes in here. So what I've got in the living room, I'll see if I can get a photo of it later. Um, I've got a couple of big propagators there on a, on a picnic table right in front of the, the French doors. Bonjour. 
and uh, that will fit two of those in there so I can get four of these trays in there to give these plants a bit of a head start. So I'll get you in a little bit closer and then I'll start sowing some seeds. <laughs> right, so what I've got here are some, um, <coughs> excuse me, Dianthus. Now, if you hear the name Dianthus, it's carnation basically. You can get carnations that are big for cutting, as I'm hoping these will be eventually. And you can get Dianthus such as the little garden pinks, which are only, I don't know, up to about 12 inches tall. So these are a hardy perennial. And um, I'm hoping they'll grow well and give me good, good flowers. I mean, I've never actually grown this variety before, and it's been a long time since I've actually sown carnation seeds so I thought I'd give them another go that's happened incidentally you'll see me doing a lot because seeds can get trapped in there so I just want to make sure I don't contaminate any um, any seed packets so that one I've just done there was um, Dianthus orange sherbet and this one is a, a more famous one you may have heard of, if you're into your flowers, called La France. So I'm just putting two or three seeds in, in each little cell here. With the aim of uh, just growing one on finally. So I'll, I shall uh, trim out if we get a lot of germination, I shall thin them out. I say, I want to start all my seeds. I do like to start all my seeds on heat if I can. So these will go in the propagator and propagators in the living room in front of the French windows. So, I mean, it's it's not very time consuming to do this. I'll fill three or four trays quite easily this afternoon in half an hour to give me hundreds of plants. And the only thing I may need to do at some stage is just take these plugs out and put them into a bigger pot and carry on growing them on. Well, there you go, that's that's 18 sowed there. That was more than 18, isn't it? It's 36. I'll just cover them over. So there we well, we'll get on with something else. Right, this next one, um, is a, a form of a marigold, they're called Tajits. And if you look back on my video from, videos from last year and see um, the little yellow flowers I had at the base of my tomatoes, these are, that's these. So they're just a, a very tiny marigold, but they're so good at deterring white fly been a bit heavy handed with these but still so yeah I I mean it it looks pretty as well in the in the uh, polytunnel but I grow them to deter the white fly and that's probably enough of them yeah so that's what that is So that's one tray, very quickly done. So I've got three more seeds to sow in this next tray. And the first one is a scabious um, pink cushion flower. And I believe these look brilliant with a sort of a cornflower really, cornflowers and a, a sweet pea. It's, 
in a, in a smaller vase. Yeah, I, I sort of trim them, trim them down, and but there's not many seeds in this packet, and I'm not doing very well at sowing them at the minute. That's roughly all them cells done so that's that one and the next lot is uh, asters now asters are good for the back end of the season um, so sort of uh, August onwards really you, know, you get a lot of flowers in summer but this is a good at the other end of the season and if you've got late sown sweet peas, which I have here, will go well with those. Or um, want to do the thing dahlias, they go well with dahlias. That's also a back end flower, really. They'll keep flowering until the frosts. And the carnations, which I've just sown a few minutes ago. So this one is a pom pom variety, and it's a mixed colour. So I've got, uh, got a few of these actually, that's that first one, this one is just the Duchesse mixed. I had some lovely asters last year, they were sort of a double flower, great big blousy thing. I mean as always with all my seeds so it and, and plant generation I make far too many from what I need and I end up giving some away or putting them on the hospice table which I've described before it's just a means for a, a local charity to gain some profit from my mistakes <laughs> of growing too many plants so there we go there's another tray of flowers done that's another 60 plants Probably won't get 60 plants out of it, probably more like 45, 50, but it's still flowers, you know, so. There we go, another lot done. Right, so that's 120 plants sown, 150 odd potted on there with more to come. Um, I'm, I'll do a part two of this video with more of the cut flowers and I'll try to get myself a bit more organised so you can see more of what I'm doing and more the more varieties or even I'll make a list and tell you what I'm going to do offline as well but that's it for this one losing the light now so it's time to go so look after yourselves everyone stay safe and I'll see you very soon ta now